men. And I use the term ever so loosely. Uh, I've been waiting for a uh, parts to arrive. Uh, mostly a crank pin so I could start to put these flywheels back together again. Well, the crank pin is here and I could start to put these flywheels back together again. Uh, when I took these uh, out of the crankcase, uh, I put them on the truing stand and they had 12 thousandths run out, which is pretty high. I fully expected the sprocket shaft or the pinion shaft or both to be bent. So I took them all apart, you know, the shafts out, uh, put them on the lathe, checked the run out, and uh, the sprocket and the pinion were only a few ten thousandths of an inch. So uh, they're good. Uh, so we're going to torque this back up, and uh, when the torque wrench clicks over here, uh, this engine will officially be on its way back together again. That's it. Uh, it's now in fewer parts than it's been since I took it apart. Okay, I got the uh, sprocket shaft torqued up. Let's make sure there's clearance between the shoulder and the flywheel. And there is. And I've stated this in previous videos. Uh, this shoulder should not bottom on the flywheel. The purpose of this shoulder is to be a stop for the Timken bearing. As it so happens, the uh, hole for the uh, lock plate screw lines exactly up. I got to get a new thrust washer. I've got a new steel one and uh, it's a little loose in there but I think I'm going to be able to uh, get a good crimp on it. I like to hold it down tightly against the flywheel. I got a center punch uh, that has kind of a dull rounded point on it. I like to punch them either side of where that straight factory punch used to be. And you want to get it close to the edge, but not too close to the edge. And I suppose there is some ideal distance. I don't know what it is. That one didn't sound good. And let's see if it's snugged up the washer. Nice and snug. Good.
There's a little burr right in there. You know, that could have been why these wheels were out of true so bad. I'm just shaving off the high spots. Okay, that's 140. Let's see if the holes line up. I gotta get a I gotta get about a half a hole more. little bit more. I should do it. Okay, perfect. go out of my usual order of doing things. Uh, usually I fit the bearings on the pin and the rods and all that so that it's ready to go. But because I'm concerned about the end play of the rods, I'm just going to bolt the rod in there with no bearings and see what the free play is. Um, I think I might even put it on the truing stand because it was so far out of whack. Uh, I want to make sure that it comes in. Uh, there could be a problem with these tapers. Uh, that problem being is, over the years, if this has been rebuilt before, and it has been, I know somebody's been in there because the, uh, the thrust washer was flipped. Uh, you know, these holes get a little bigger every time somebody uh, torques down a nut. So. We're just going to get an idea as to the true on them and get an idea as to the end clearance. I'm not going to go to the full 150, I'm going to go to 130 and C. There's play in there. Alright, so, uh, you know, this obviously is not together for keeps. You know, one rod's not in there, there's no bearings in there. Uh, they are torqued up to about 130, 135, uh, and this is the first attempt. I'm just, because they were so far out when I took them apart, 12 thousandths, I want to make sure there's nothing wrong with the tapers uh, when I go to put it back together again. So this is a test. And uh, uh, that's a pretty good fucking result, let me tell you. So these will be good to go. Uh, for tonight, I'm calling it quits. Uh, just a short video on this little assembly right here. Uh, I had uh, wife projects to work on today. Uh, so uh, I'm done for the evening. Uh, you guys know the drill. Coffee cups and stickers. Uh, you know where to find them. Links down below. Hey, join me on Patreon if you feel like it. Uh, thanks ever so much for watching. This engine 
is going to be on the way back together again in pretty short order. Out for now. Thank you. Bye.